How big a role does luck play in entrepreneurial success? I saw this post recently. It's a response to somebody who's done well in the AI space. And the response here is basically saying it is all luck. For every one person who does well like you, there's going to be a hundred or a thousand people who do not do well. Even if they've done the same thing, even if they've created something more valuable than you, um, luck means that they have not done as well as you have. I 100% agree that luck plays a big role in any entrepreneurial endeavour. My main problem, my main concern with this is if you believe that luck is the largest part of any success, then that takes the responsibility off yourself and it puts it on some other force outside of you. That allows you to blame your lack of success on something else. I'm not lucky. We're shifting responsibility from ourselves to something amorphous, something that we can pin the blame on. We tend to do this with things like luck or market conditions, like it's not the right time to launch a business. Basically stuff that's out of our control that we can easily blame any lack of success on. Here's the thing about luck though. I mean, it goes in both ways. You can have good luck and you can have bad luck, but you only have either form of luck when you expose yourself to risks. I've launched maybe 30 businesses in my life. Most of them have failed. I could blame that on bad luck or I could look at what I've done and learn from those mistakes. However, if I hadn't launched anything, if I hadn't published anything, if I hadn't created any business, then I would be exposed to neither bad luck nor good luck. I would just be safely at home in a shell protected. I think that's where most people are happy being, honestly. Because coming out of that shell and trying something that's hard, like starting a business, it exposes us to failure. But we forget it also exposes us to the possibility of success. That's the flip side. That's the good luck, the possibility of something working. Think about lottery tickets, for example. If you buy a lottery ticket, the chances of you winning, the good luck, is very small. It's one in several million. Very small. If you do not buy a lottery ticket, though, the chance of you winning the lottery is zero. By exposing ourselves to risk by buying a lottery ticket, we go from a zero chance to a non-zero chance of success. And the thing about entrepreneurship and starting a business is that the odds are a lot better than with a lottery ticket. But again, you need to buy in, you need to buy that lottery ticket in order to get started. Too many people have a business idea, but they never move to implement it. So they are not exposed to either good luck nor bad luck. Without action, there is no exposure. And the people who choose to believe that luck is all that guides us and that any of our successes aren't really our own, they tend to be the same people who never make a move. They never start anything. They never launch anything. They have lots of ideas, but they never actually get off the starting line because they're held back by a limiting belief that luck is all that guides us. And these people become bitter and angry and annoyed that they see people who are doing well, um, who had the same ideas that they did, but other people actually went out and built and created and put themselves in the firing line and published and basically exposed themselves um, to the upsides as well as the downsides and created something valuable. Those left on the sidelines who never moved, they resort to being angry on the internet instead. So why am I talking about this today? Well, obviously, I just saw that post and uh, it made me think about the topic. But also because there are a lot of people that I communicate with on a day-to-day -day basis in comments um, who I recognise these kind of patterns in them. They are resentful of the fact that other people are doing quite well. Instead of celebrating other people's victories, it's easier to tear them down. I'm not specifically talking about on my comments, I'm talking about on other accounts just generally. This is a, a bit of a problem. What I would say to you, if you are one of those kind of people who find yourself um, lashing out and acting quite negatively in such a way, is that you don't need to fear building something and creating something yourself. The first few things that you create will probably fail, and that is fine. That's just part of the learning process, honestly. My first businesses were absolute train wrecks. So I'll probably do some videos about them in one day. Just know that by getting out there and starting to create uh, instead of criticising by starting to publish that you are on track to starting to expose yourself to good luck um, as well as bad luck. And it's going to suck, at least initially. But if you grind through that for years, um, for me it's taken about 10 years, there are great rewards, not just monetarily, but in terms of freedom and living the life that you want to live on the other side. Hopefully on this Monday morning that message will be uh, accepted positively and uh, will become part of you moving forward. Or you can just yell at me in the comments. I mean, it's up to you. But here's hoping.